All right, so if you want to dye your own fabric for the, um, the patchwork pillow project, you can do this. This is an option. This is not required. This is just um, a technique if you wanted to use it. You're going to use wax paper. All right, so I have wax paper. Um, you want to put this on your tray, and this is just so that your fabric won't stick to the tray or to the table, um, but it will, you know, it'll just peel off the wax paper. You can use the fabric dyes in a few different ways. Um, you can take plain water and you can brush your fabric, so kind of like pre-wetting it with just the plain water. Okay, and this is the dye we're going to be using. Um, it's a, a colored India ink and it is permanent on clothing immediately and there's no way to get this out, so you want to be extremely careful with it. All right, and you can do something kind of like this, which is going to be like a watercolor effect. If you want to use water, you can kind of spread it out. And you can also put multiple colors together so it becomes almost like a tie-dye. I'm going to use a purple. I actually kind of like those little areas where it doesn't come through. All right, so that's kind of the one technique to use. It's called wet into wet. So you're doing wet water, wet ink, and you're letting that all kind of blend together. Another option is that you can just take a brush and dip it into your ink and paint directly on that. Okay, so that would be kind of a drier mark. Um, once this dries, you'll see those kind of lines on there. Do another. You can layer the colors. All right, so those are your two kind of ways that you can um, create your own fabrics if you don't want to use the fabric that is uh, in the back. Um, you can do this for your whole pillow, have a bunch of different fabrics that you've painted and use them all, or you can use it as a like part of the um, mixture of fabrics that you're going to be doing, but that's completely up to you, and I just wanted to present this as an option.